dearies. So, uh, my first week of school is awesome. Skyline is an amazing school, just so everyone knows. I have pretty great classes. I have a really cool social dance class. And I have a really cool choir class. And there's actually a girl with the same name as me in my aerobics class. I've never met anyone with the same name as me. I've met very, very few people who knew other Cosettes. But I've never met one myself until aerobics. And it's really weird because she has the same eyes as me. She has not like the exact same shaped face, but similar shaped face. Her natural hair color is the same color hair color as my natural hair color. And uh, it turns out um, some people have actually confused us, even though I have this blonde. Some people have seen her from behind and thought it was me because we're close to the same body type and height, too. Which is really kind of freaky. Uh, how does that happen? And do, don't, don't any of you guys think of Parent Trap? Because in the Parent Trap, they had two different names. And my mother has only ever been with one man. So I don't hiccup. See how that would work. <laughs> oh, do you guys see my puppy in the background? He's down in the corner. Hey, Fro. Oh, no, she's coming over. Hi, princess. Um, yeah, I have a Cosette that's not me in my aerobics class, which is really cool. Um, I went to the Skyline football game. Skyline was playing Hurricane, and they won, and Skyline won, like, 28 to 6, which is really cool. Um, and one huge difference from my last schools and this school is in my last schools, I'm personally, when it comes to talking to people face to face, like, I can text you, and I can be perfectly fine, and I can message you online, and I can Skype you, and it'll all be good. But as soon as I'm face to face with you, shy. Like, if you don't talk to me, I won't talk to you. It's not because I'm a snob, it's not because I don't like talking to people. I like talking to people, I'm just afraid to talk to them because I don't want to intrude upon them. I don't want to inconvenience anyone. I heard someone sneeze or talk or something. Anyways, so, people actually, like, unlike people in Cedar City who, you don't talk to them, they won't talk to you, and they'll sit there and be like, yeah, she's a snob, she doesn't talk to anyone. Like, they'll come up to you and they'll be like, oh, hey, I've never seen you around here before. Are you a sophomore? Did you just start? Like, what grade are you in? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, so what are you into? What classes do you have? And they're just super nice. Everyone's super nice. Like, even the preps are super nice. And I love it. I know the cutest little girl, and she's kind of that goth-looking, like, scene-type chick. She's the most adorable thing ever, and it turns out she's Mormon. She's really cool. I absolutely adore her. And then there's a cheerleader in my choir class who is, he's way cool. He is really nice. But, um, yeah, so, school's amazing. And today I went to Macy's because my aunt bought a coupon when we were buying my back-to-school clothes. So we couldn't pick up the clothes until today. We got 25% off. It was a $5 coupon. But all the proceeds from the, like, all the money you spend on the coupon goes to the March of Dimes, which is awesome. Love charity. Love giving people money who need it. I mean, like, I won't go up to hobos and give them money. I'm more likely to, like, see a hobo and be like, oh, I have some cash in my pocket. Let's run to the grocery store and grab a bag of cereal or something that they can munch on. Like, I don't give them money. I will definitely give them food if you can tell they're honestly in need. Like, if I see someone standing on the corner, help, my family needs money, and $150 pants, fuck you. No. Not gonna happen. But when I see, like, veterans in wheelchairs and, like, super scraggly hair and they're all dirty and kind of stink, and they're all like, veteran anything helps. Like, they're not asking for money. Like, those people that are like, my family needs money. No, they're asking for anything that can help them, which is the people I look for when, you know, I'm 
being charitable. I sit there and I'm just like, oh, hey, look, there's a hobo who honestly needs help. Oh, hey, look, there's someone pretending to be a hobo and he has like $500 pants on. I know those. Those are Michael Jordan pants. My ex had some of those. I know, I know them from first sight. I pawned them off. He lived with me and he left them there. What else are you supposed to do? Especially if he's in jail. Like, I put that money towards his bail. It's all good. It wasn't enough to make bail. I mean, I got like 400 from them from the pawn shop, but beggars can't be choosers. I was just trying to make some money for his bail to kind of pitch in. We're almost there, though. I just don't want to talk to him afterwards because get there once, fluke. Get there twice, shame on you. Should not be in jail twice. Unless it's for something different that's also a fluke. If you go to jail twice for the same thing, no. Um, earlier, as many of you may know, I am vegetarian. Some of you don't know that. But, um, I cheated. My mom bought me sushi, and I love sushi. Not all sushi, it's the, the crap sushi. They don't count as having a face, do they? Their eyes stick up. Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. That doesn't count as a face, does it? Nah. <laughs> but, um, they're a fish that doesn't taste like fish. It's simply delicious. Cha! Simply, Bible says no shellfish. Ha 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 I'm so shellfish. <laughs> yeah, not that funny. Yeah, I love crab so much. So I was eating sushi earlier. Whoops. Oh well. There's only very few occasions you'll see me eating meat. It's Thanksgiving because it's turkey day. How are you supposed to have turkey day without turkey? You know? So, I do eat turkey around Thanksgiving. I don't eat turkey sandwiches because sandwich meat is gross. But I will eat turkey on Thanksgiving. And I'll eat sushi. But it's expensive, so I don't get it very often. But it turns out, if you go to Smith's and they have those little sushi package things, they don't taste as good as, like, restaurant sushi, but they're still pretty good. They're like, I got, like, two or three rolls worth of California rolls for like eight bucks and food stamps covers them so you know movie bueno and so there's that recap for the week and fun little facts did you know that the guy that plays Blaine on Glee is actually straight he plays the gay kid but he's straight and so is the chick that plays Santana which doesn't really surprise me at all like I kind of saw that one coming but it's still pretty cool that they're just like, hey, let's, let's play gay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. I love it when people do that. It makes me have hope for the world. Almost like the ring of Christians that formed around the Muslims when they were praying during the whole Egypt bullcrap. And then the ring of Muslims that formed around the Christians when they were trying to pray during the whole Egypt bullcrap. Which is, I mean, gives me hope, too. What really gives me hope is that picture set of the little girl, and someone's all like, do you like boys or do you like girls? And she's like, I don't like boys. I like Netflix and birds. It's so cute. Yeah, I, I love things like that. I don't know. But that's a little bit about me. Um, send me questions to my email. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Always, always, always excited for people to follow me. I'm always, always, always excited for people to ask me questions that I can answer on video. I'm just super happy to have anyone watch. Um, thanks for watching this video. Obviously, if you really liked it, you'll su subscribe. I will have more videos posted in the future at some point when I have time. I'm hoping to do them every weekend uh, whenever I have time and stuff. And, um, ooh, for you, my lady, indie rock band, amazing, coming to Salt Lake, just, I'll let you guys know the information for that, absolutely amazing, one of my best friends ever is the drummer, and he's just the best, and he's really talented, and so is everyone in that band, and I love it, I love indie rock, I love any kind of rock, alternative, 
regular, just heavy. I like metal. Just I love rock. Just makes me so happy. And so I'll probably talk to you guys next week. So yeah, ask questions, follow me, all that fun stuff. And if you're really, really nerdy, you'll probably love my blog because it's all like Doctor Who and Star Trek and Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. And there's a few other things like some food, and, you know, miscellaneous and anime, and stuff like that. But I mean, I love my blog. I don't know about you guys, but I think I have the best blog ever. Uh, so let me think. Let me know what you think about that. If there's any shows you think I'd be interested in, sci-fi wise, like I don't like super super gory, and I don't like pointless like sex or anything. But I mean, if there's a show with a great storyline and amazing actors, let me know. Love Supernatural. I love Doctor Who. I love Sherlock. Love anything. I love British humor too. So yeah. I will see you guys next week. I love you all. Love you, love you, love you. And goodbye.